so let's jump into the introduction aws code commit is a fully managed service by aws to store uh, any kind of data such as uh, source code application binaries and documents AWS code commit is built on Git, so and you can use your existing command to uh, operate your uh, code commit as well. So you might have observed that like you need to put lot of effort, uh, effort and a lot of time for managing your source control system. There are many people who host their own source control system and they do the uh, software patches and they do the scale the uh, server whenever there is number of requests are in uh, number of uh, number of requests or number of users are increasing to the system. So we have to put a lot of effort uh, for doing all these kind of operations. So code commit eliminates uh, all these uh, uh, need to operate and the con uh, uh, their own own system and no need to worry about the infrastructure. AWS provide different level of features of security. Uh, the security is applied both as well as the repository side as well as the user based level. So let's jump into the uh, advantages of using code commit. As I said before, uh, code commit is fully managed by AWS, so we, we don't need to worry about the infrastructure and the resource out outages, etc. And next one is the data stored securely. There are two ways of accessing the uh, code repository data. One is using HTTPS and one is using uh, SSH. And these both the two methods uh, uh, have the encryption is enabled uh, enabled during the transit level so and the next question will be like uh, what will what will happen to the data when it's not under transit or when it is under rest so aws has enabled uh, the data encryption at the rest so uh, whenever the data is not used uh, during that time that uh, uh, the data inside the repository will be encrypted Code commit allows you to work collaboratively with your team. So yeah, code commit allows you to work collaboratively with your team. So uh, you can create your own branches yeah, and it can be merged uh, with any other branches as per the uh, like your project requirements. And you can set up the, your own rules for how it can be merged, how it can be pushed to the uh, to the different environments. So this allows you to, uh, code commit allows you to create this kind of rules in the repository and uh, work collaboratively with other team members. Code commit allows you to to store any kind of data. So there is no any uh, restrictions such as like you can store only this particular format of data in code repository. This allows you to have keep uh, any kind of documents, you can keep your application binary, you can keep your code repo, uh, any kind of file into the code commit repository. Code commit can be integrated to any, any kind of third party application. Migration is really easy uh, when you use uh, any git based repositories. So if you use any, you, uh, if you host uh, your own uh, Git repository server, so the migration of your own code repository it is very easier and it is straightforward to code commit. Code commit works on Git, so you can use your existing commands uh, to work with uh, code commit. No need to learn any new uh, new sets of command in order to push and pull your data. And next is regarding the pricing. Uh, the pricing is zero dollar when you if you start your core commit with your first five users, and this allows you to have uh, unlimited repos and 50 GB of storage or 50 GB of storage of data in the repository. And you can have 10,000 uh, Git request to the repository. 
and additional to that uh, when you start with uh, creating new users other than the first five user you will have the unlimited repository uh, creation and the next it will be the 10 GB amount of storage you will be obtaining for the user and uh, you will have around a two 2000 uh, git request per month and uh, additional plus user uh, additional five uh, additional user from the first five users will be charged one dollar per user per month so now let's pitch into how to set up uh, a git uh, code commit repository hi then let's pitch into uh, how we can create a code commit repository in order to do that you have to log into aws console so as you can see i have logged into my aws console and just click on this aws services and search for code commit okay now you can see the dashboard of code commit just click on create repository and provide the repository name i'm just adding it as project one and if you need you can add a description for that and that is an optional here and if required you can enable amazon code guru it's a reviewer like it checks the core quality and it will provide you the recommendation uh, as per your source code which is uploaded in the uh, code commit repository so right now i'm not enabling the code uh, amazon code guru I'm just creating uh, without enabling that. I'm just clicking on the create. So now you can see that my uh, project is created. I mean uh, the repository. So here we have uh, three different steps, uh, three different methods you can access the repository. One is HTTP and one is SSH and one is another one is HTTPS GRC. So here I'm going to use SSH uh, method for accessing my repository. So in order to do that, I need to upload my SSH public key in, uh, to the to the IAM console. So let's go to the IAM console. I'm selecting my user. Here my username is TechRunner and if you go to security credentials you can see a place to upload your SSH key. So here there is an option to SSH upload your uh, public key. Click on upload SSH public key and for that you need to generate your SSH uh, public key. Right. You have to generate your SSH key for that both public and private. And I am using Linux machine as my operating system. So, so execute this commands SSH keygen. This will create you uh, the SSH public and private key for that. So I am uploading my SSH key. My SSH uh, public key name is uh, s ssh.id.rc.perp. I am copy and paste what are the contents inside the public key to here and just click on upload SSH public key. So you can see that my SSH public key got uploaded here and this is your SSH key ID. So you just need to copy this key ID and you have to do one more configuration in your S dot .ssh con uh, config file. So you can navigate into ss dot .ssh folder in your machine. And here you can see uh, there is a config file. If it is not available, you can create by manually. Open that file. And copy this contents into the config, uh, config file. 
and replace this user ID with the SSH key ID. So here you can get the SSH key ID, copy that and paste it, paste it here correspond to the user section. And please mention what is the path for your uh, uh, the private key. So in my case is uh, it is id.rsa under my root directory dot ssh folder and uh, you have to put the host as uh, this will be the post so i will be adding this uh, content in my description box you can check it over there so once you have done with this you have to attach a policy for the iam user in order to have access to the code commit repository so in order to do that select the user and click on the permissions and click on add permission and just attach the existing policy so by default aws has created a few policies for re related to aws code commit which have full access power user and read only access so you can choose uh, whatever predefined policies provided by aws or else you can create your own uh, policy and you can attach the same to the respective user so here i am going to attach the power user policy to the techrunner user so i'm searching with code commit power user and the policy is going to attach to techrunner user so now you can see that uh, the uh, code commit power user policy is attached to the user called techrunner and just navigate to code commit dashboard page again and now click on uh, the repository url so as i said i have done some few configuration dot config file right so the same content you can select it over here as well in the uh, code commit dashboard page itself if you select your operating system so each operating system has different uh, uh, configurations so you can select as per your which so now the next step is to clone your repository so if you go here if you select your operating system uh, I'm selecting my operating system as Linux and you know, you know you already know that we have completed all these steps and now we are going to clone our repository so click on this copy button so the url will be copied so now go to your desired directory where you want to clone so i'm i'm going to temp and i'm going to paste this url and I'm naming it as Techrana folder. So now you can see that uh, my project project is uh, project has been cloned to my local system, and you can see a warning saying that you have appeared to be cloned as an empty repository. Don't worry about that because we don't have any content inside the uh, repository, so that's why you are getting this warning. No contact runner navigate you so you can see that uh, right now my branch is master so just touch one file touch file and let's push into the repository let's push that file okay now you can see that that file got pushed to the uh, code repository now just refresh the page and just click on the repository again now you can see the test file which is all got pushed to the our uh, newly created repository called project one 
so here you can see that so by this uh, we are ending this video we'll be coming with the uh, new videos on code commit so please subscribe and stay tuned thank you